Hello and welcome back to Modded Minecraft. My name is Jin and welcome back to the farm. A huge thank you to everybody that's become a member of the channel to help support it. Thank you very much. But also to everybody that subscribed and has liked the videos. So what we see behind me is now the finished farm. Basically, I've gone around and configured all of the gatherers and the sowers. And so now a huge collection of tiny farms is actually complete. And I'm going to give you a walkthrough of all of the crops that we've chosen to grow. Also, this episode, we're going to do a little bit of maintenance and we're going to set about wrangling the next part of our farming setup. So we've done crops and we've done fruit trees. All that's left is a little bit of protein. All right, all right. So let me give you a walkthrough of the crops we've chosen to grow. Now, I had a look in Pam's Harvest Craft and we've basically... Oh, let me put my jetpack back on. We've almost got every single crop there is in the game. There's a few we're missing, but we've got a nice healthy selection going on. Now, as you can see, I've used Scoria, but I've also added some of these birch fences to help contrast on our farm. Basically, when you're building, colors are important. And because the base color was so brown, we needed something very light to kind of contrast it. And so birch, I think, is perfect for that. Right, so you already saw before that we had corn seeds. We've got okra, which is very important for making hops, I think. Or is it? Is it used in making beer? I don't know. Well, we'll, we'll try and make some beer out of this okra, at least. We've got green grape seeds and grape seeds. These are important for making raisins, which are part of the fruitcake recipe. We've got pineapples, again, big in fruitcake. Bell peppers, because they're a very Mexican fruit slash vegetable, and that's important to me. I want to make a lot of Mexican food. Coffee beans, because who doesn't like a cold brew in the morning? Chickpeas, because they're healthy. Peanuts, because, oh, you're going to love my nuts. We've got some mustard seeds because I just found some in the computer and I thought I'd plant them. You know, why not? And then as we get up to the higher tiers, these are the crops that you haven't seen before. So we've got saddy root and beetroot, spinach and strawberry. Basically, there's a lot of thermal seeds crops that aren't Pam's Harvest Craft and uh, aren't base Minecraft. And so I thought, you know what, let's get them out of the computer and into the ground. That includes also green beans, radish, and then back to Pam's Harvest Craft with garlic, cranberry, ginger, and cotton. Now, I definitely don't want to eat cotton, but if I can make wool from this, then it's a cool thing to add to my belt, so to speak. And that's one half of the farm. Now, let's move over to the second fields. Oh, man, there are so many fields, so many crops here. It's amazing. Sweet potato, because honestly, man, if I ever get a choice in a restaurant to eat sweet potato fries or potato fries, it's always sweet potato, right? Rice, because that's like a core component to so many dishes. Quinoa, because it's healthy and uh, it was very expensive as well. So we can make a, a pretty penny if we sell that in the market. I don't know what market I'm talking about, but yeah. Peas, obviously they're delicious. Kale, because it's healthy. Again, works great in smoothies too. Taro, because it makes great bubble tea. And speaking of tea, of course, we've got some tea leaves. We've also got turnips. A gave. I don't know what a gave is. Is that a gave or agave? I have no idea what it is. Maybe I'll look it up. I might, I might, I might Google that in a second. Asparagus, because it makes your pee smell. Asparagus, because it makes your pee smell. Amaranth, because that's my favorite streamer. Blueberry, because it's a really tasty, really tasty berry. I think blueberry is probably my favorite berry. Brussels sprouts, because it wouldn't be Christmas without them. Oh, now hang on a sec. We've got trouble over here at the eggplant field because it looks like we've run out of eggplants. We've also got blackberries here and uh, yeah, we're back to the beginning. So it looks like some of my fields have some trouble. Some of them are not replenishing their crops. So let's remember this. It's the eggplant field, the quinoa field, the peas, and the kale. So let's go underneath and see what's going on. Let's diagnose this problem. All right, all right. So a quick trip underneath. And what I think the problem might be is, aha, yes. So the exporter doesn't have a crafting upgrade. So we're going to have to go and make some more of those. Yeah, none of these have a crafting upgrade. So that looks like it's the problem. This one does, though. So we're just missing a couple. Now, also, you remember over here the fruit fields, right? So we have these modular routers, and they're real cool. That's how we gather the fruit. They right-click on the apple with bone meal to grow the apple, and then a hopper catches it. 
but it needs bone meal that we're trying to export to it. Now, wouldn't it be amazing if we could put a crafting recipe for bone meal into the computer and add some crafting upgrades to these as well? Well, it looks like we're going to need a whole bunch of crafting upgrades. Now, we're going to need a ton of these crafting upgrades around the farm, so 64 might seem like a lot, but honestly, uh, it's, it's only one stack, and we're probably going to go through several stacks. So, but a boom, but a bing, in go the crafting upgrades for the bone meal. They're not doing anything yet because we don't have a crafting recipe in the crafters, but as soon as we do, we're going to get tons of fruit. Okay, so that's pretty awesome. Everything is locked and loaded. Now, we also wanted to make bone meal out of bones. We've got some spooky bees set up, so we are getting bones, but we need a recipe that turns these bones into bone meal. But a boom. Now, if we put this in the iron crafter, do we want to put this in the iron crafter? Because this is going to be a very tricky recipe. A lot of things around the farm are going to need bone meal. So I think the creative craft is probably where we want to put things that are going to have a very quick craft rate. Right, and our bone count is going down. So, in theory, the machines over here by the fruit fields should be going crazy now. Oh yeah, look at this. We've got fruit coming out of the wazoo. Oh, however, this is interesting. So, this walnut is not working. Why is the walnut not working? That's fully grown. Is it facing the wrong way? Redstone mode always. Eco disabled. Oh wait, hang on a sec, it's missing a module. Yeah, it needs an activator module, what the hell? Okay, activator all set up, let's put it into the machine. There we go, back in business. Amazing, okay, everything is ticking along perfectly. So we are going to run out of bones and bone meal at some point, but we do have spooky bees and they're going to replenish our stocks. So it's time to talk about the next step in our farming endeavours. We're going to need some protein. We've got the fruit, we've got the vegetables, there's one third core to our farming mix, and that is protein. Now Pam's Harvest Craft is very progressive and if you want to, you can go fully vegan. There's a lot of vegan options. If we, if we type in vegan... Oh, uh, wait, what? There's no vegan options. What about vegetarian? Vegetar... Yeah, there we go. There's a vegetable medley. So if you are a vegetarian, you can at least have some vegetables. Congratulations. No, but jokes aside, there's also things like tofu tutton, cooked tofutton, which is like mutton, but tofu. And it's pretty cool that they've added like a lot of vegan options. However, it's Minecraft, we don't need to be vegan because we're not killing actual cows here. Now, one way to get protein is through bees, and this is called Feed the Bees. So I'd be amiss if I didn't try out a Kobe Beef Bee to see what it does. A Kobe Beef Honeycomb into the centrifuge, and oh my god, wow. So I thought a Kobe Beef Bee, I thought the honeycomb only made beef. But it turns out it makes every single kind of protein there is. You can make salmon, you can make chicken, pork chops, rabbit, mutton, and of course it's got to be beef, right? Cod, and there we go, raw beef. No way! Well, okay, we're going to have to get some of, our, some of our Kobe beef bees on the go. So what do they need? What's their flour? Here we go. So, the, whoa, <laughs> what the hell? Wow. So the Kobe beef bee, its uh, its flour is a fridge from uh, Cooking for Blockheads. That's amazing. I love that. That's really cool. We're going to have to make one uh, and get these bees on the go. Beef. Whoa. Oh, my God. How many of these bees did we pick up? Well, this is a super useful bee. So we're going to put it, um, I think we're going to put this in the apiary, actually. Yeah, one in each apiary. No, actually, no, screw it, we're going to go for four. Well, okay, let's plug in our beef bees. Now, don't worry, don't be disheartened. We're not just going to use Kobe beef bees. Oh, wait, also, idea. We're not just going to use Kobe beef bees to get our meat. We're also going to actually have a farm because we're going to want to milk cows properly. We're going to want to get chickens and feathers and eggs. And we're going to want to do something with pigs as well, maybe wrestle with them. I don't know. 
So we are going to get some homegrown, authentic, real as you like, vanilla animals. So what did I come back here for? Basically, yeah, one of you guys said ages ago that I can change the door that I have in the apiaries for the same glass that I have on the bee pods that lets me walk through it. So do I have any in here? Yeah, here we go. Ethereal glass. Boom. And this is actually one of the best ideas you guys have said because it just it's just going to make things so much easier. Check it out. Boom. Got to be quick with this. Oh, here we go. Boom. Ethereal glass. And there we go. I can walk straight through it. No, no, come back. Oh my god, you crazy bee. Get the hell back here. Uh, where are my bee jars? Oh my god, I can't let him, I cannot let him escape. That is like a super rare bee that's just gone missing. Get your ass back here, son. Okay, on the map, I can see where he's flown off to. Looks like he's here. There he is. Whew. Almost let one of our wither bees escape there. Close call. All right, now what we're going to try and do now is uh, put a fridge in here so that our bees can get to it. However, I'm feeling like maybe I should put this fridge in the ground because you guys have said putting a block in the ground is a much better way of getting bees to... What's this guy doing? That's a fridge, dude. It's not a piece of... It's not a piece of gravel. Oh, he's so confused. Okay, so. Apiary, import. There you go. Be free, fellow bee. And we'll put one in this hive down here as well. Boom. Now here's a query. The fridge is also up here in the roof. So can we use the same flower in two different apiaries? It sounds almost too good to be true. Okay, so we're going to leave those bees to it. Now we're going to capture some animals. We need a pig, a horse, a cow, a chicken... And a sheep. And that should cover all of the core proteins. We can't get fish, but maybe we can use the Kobe beef stuff for that. So what we're going to do is, there are, there are a number of things we can do. But what I want to do is use mob swabs. So, and the reason why we're using mob swabs is I'm not quite sure how we can capture animals, but I know if we can swab their DNA, we can refit spawners with the correct animals. So that means we're going to need to capture some spawners, and that means we're going to need some cardboard boxes. Boom. So we have one here already with a mob spawner. And I've got some sawdust in the computer, I think. So let's just make some more cardboard boxes. Boom. Okay, so let's count this up. We've got one mob spawner for cows, one for pigs, one for sheep, one for chicken but we are going to want maybe horses and rabbits so sawdust there we go there's some in the computer now boom rabbits and then last but not least one for horses now i'm not really a fan of horse meat it's it's not super tasty but just to complete the set i kind of want to do that well all right all right we've got our mob swabs we've got our cardboard boxes so the first thing we need are spawners. So we're going to kick our jetpack into faster than 20%. 80% might do. And what we want to do now is find some dungeons where we can find some spawners. And along the way, we're going to swab all the animals that we find. So boom, a sheep. In the bag. Oh, and I think I see some chickens over here as well. Amazing. Where's the chicken? They're so hard to see in these flowers. Are you a chicken? I think he's a chicken. Or a duck. Are you a chicken or a duck? Oh, sorry. Oh god, he's running away now. There we go, mob swab engaged. Now don't forget, we're also looking for dungeons where we can find- Oh, hello! Dungeons where we can find spawners. And this looks like exactly the kind of place we want to look for. 
Now, I think I've already raided this place, but that's okay because we're just looking for the spawners at the moment. And I'm just going to ulti mine here because this is probably a much better way of getting in and out of the dungeon, right? Oh man, you can see how deep things, these things really go now. Okay, spawner time. Bada boom, bada bing. And we can't be killed because we've got incredible gear. Oh, looks like we haven't raided this place. This is a spawner. This is a cardboard box. The box is empty. We hold shift and we click on the spawner. No. Hold control. Ah, you got to hold control, not shift. Okay, fair enough. Mischief managed. Oof. <clears throat> okay, it looks like we could be out of spawners. No, that can't be right. These places are usually huge and chock full of spawners. What am I missing? Where should I be going? Is this the way we came? Maybe. Get off the reef, you crazy spider. First off, you don't have the right. Beware left. Also, ambush. There we go. And there we go. That's the final spawner that we need. Man, mushrooms. I've never farmed mushrooms, I don't think. That might be that might be a cool thing to try. Aha! There he is, our beefy compadre, Mr. Cow. Don't mind if I do. I'd really like a black and white cow, actually. I don't really want a brown one, but you know what? It'll do. So we've got chickens, we've got cows, and we have sheep. So we're looking for pigus, and we're looking for horses, and we're also looking for rabbits. Well, I have a nature's compass. Let's run a quick search for any biomes that have rabbit in the name. Because we could get lucky and we could find like a rabbit biome or like a... Oh, what's this? Oh! Water crystals, water shards, scroll paper. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. It might come in useful later. So yeah, there might be a biome that is like a rabbit biome or something. No, there's not a rabbit one. What about horse? No. Well, okay, it was worth a shot. Oh, hello. We could get a fox. Can we eat fox meat? I want to swab one anyway, just in case. Boom, we got a fox swab. Amazing. That only gives us two more swabs, which I think we've reserved for pig... Rabbit and horse. Oh, we might need to make another swab, but we can make another swab pretty easily because it just uses wool, right? Oh, hello. What's that? Are those rabbits? Yeah! Okay, come here. Come here, you. Oh. Oh, stop putting down torches. I want to swab this fool. Where is he gone? Is he going to get away? Man, rabbits are quick. Hey, we got it. We got a rabbit swab. Amazing. Now we can have some rabbit meat. Plus also rabbit hides are a thing. So what we could do is just put some rabbits through the grinder. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, ho, hello. What are you? Oh, that could, that's, I think that's a cat. Oh no, it's a witch's hut, which I think means there's a cat in there. There we go, it's a witch. Now, witch DNA is pretty good to have, so I think I might just scoop one of those up. There you go, you crazy witch. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig up a tree and make myself some more swabs, because I have run out of swabs and we are going to need some more. Aha! Oh, looks like there's a horse over there on the map. Oh, there he is, old Bojack, you mother trucker. Get your ass over here. There we go, I'll take the one with the child. Because we know it's fertile, a good stock, a fine breed, fine breed. So, let's kill a sheep and get another swab. Hello, my friend. God, where are these pigs? 
Another horse. Why are horses easier to find than pigs? I'm sure it's not supposed to be like that. Whoa, hello. Oh, we discovered a panda. Oh, do I want to swab a panda? What was that squeak? Is that the noise that pandas make? That can't be a panda noise. Oh, these guys are very cute though. Oh man, so cute indeed. But, do they make any kind of meat? Let's kill some and find out what they drop. Oh, I feel dirty doing that. They drop, they only drop bamboo, they don't drop meat. Oh, okay, I guess we aren't farming pandas today. It's a farm, not a zoo. And not a petting zoo, either. Well, that's very odd. Maybe there's a way for us to get pigs in the mod without actually finding them in the world. So, a pig spawn egg, altar of birthing, pork chop, and spirit of birthing. What the hell? Well, I need a pork chop first. Maybe this is the way of doing it. Spirit of birthing. Oh my god, token of euphoria, in god of the skies, offering tape, <laughs> oh my god, this is a pretty complicated mod setup, um, hmm, I must have seen pigs around, let's just keep looking. Whoa, 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 hang on a minute, what the hell, oh my god, we've got donkeys, I had no idea you'd get donkeys in this game, Minecraft as well, they're base vanilla. Wait, it won't let me swab. I can't swab this mother trucker. What the hell? Okay, so I return home defeated. I do not have a pig mob swab, and that is devastating. But you know what? I am not going to be defeated by this. My jetpack was too low, so I couldn't search. What I'm going to do now is go through the mod and instead find a way to spawn in a pig using nature's aura. Man, so nature's aura can't be that hard. I'm, I must be able to get like a quick and dirty setup for getting a pig, right? So, pig, here we go. This is what we want to do. We want to get a pig spawn egg. And we do that with the altar of birthing. The altar of birthing uh, requires ingot of the skies, which needs infused iron ingot and tainted gold ingot mixed with a spirit of calling. We get these infused iron ingots by using natural altar infusion. Oh, well, it's a little bit too much to wrap my head around right now, so I'm going to do a little bit of research, and next episode we're going to dig into nature's aura to see if we can use it to find ourselves a spawn pig. It looks like it might be a kind of cool mod anyway. I mean, it's called nature's aura, so it's got to be useful for farm stuff, right? Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and a big thank you to all of my channel members. And until next time, take care.